welcome back to my channel. My name is Carla Go by Spiritual Essence on social media. And I just want to thank you guys for joining. If you're new here, like and subscribe. If you're a returning user, I appreciate you. Now, a lot of y'all were really reaching out to me about this dryer, okay? This video is going to go into detail about the aspects and dynamics of this dryer itself. Let's get started. So first and foremost, I do wanna let you know that this video is not sponsored at all. I don't think they even have affiliate links because they know how good of a product this is and that it's going to sell itself. They don't need you to sell it for them, okay? The name of the hair dryer is the Rev Air, R-E-V-A-I-R. It is some innovative new technology where they use reverse drying action to dry your hair. So on their website, they do have uh, accessories that go with this particular dryer. I think the dryer itself is about $399. If you want the accessories, they're $499 altogether as a bundle. I ended up getting the dryer and the accessories, which I cannot find for some reason, but we'll still go over the dryer for sure. The accessories include like some hair clips that say Rev Air. I want to say a water bottle, a comb, a brush, and something else that I can't think of. So I went to go grab the box because I realized I still have it. This is what it comes in. It comes with this bag. This own little carrying tote which is very beneficial by the way, because if you see my last video, when I say this thing is heavy, this is the base of the dryer itself. This is the power button. And this is where you input the filter, which is here. This filter, which has hair in it, by the way, my hair, um, it captures the strands of hair that I guess are breaking off or on the verge of, you know, coming off, you know, maybe you need a trim or something. But it filters strands of hair that are about to be done with, of course. Okay, so of course, after you put the filter in there and it's fitting, it's snug, it's not going anywhere, you take this hose, which I haven't told you about the hose, but this hose is pretty long. Like it reminds me of like a vacuum cleaner hose, but you take this hose and put it on here. It's magnetic, but you wanna twist it so that it's not going anywhere. It's, it's in there now. This next piece, is what goes on the other end of the hose. This is what you're gonna use to put your hair inside of when you're trying to dry it. So you take this part right here, this is what it looks like. This is the front, this is the back. You literally match the pieces together and twist. It's on there. Off, on, off, um, so I just plugged up the dryer and I'm about to show you guys the settings. So this right here comes with its own settings. It's one or two. I usually use two. Um, I think this particular button impacts like the suction power. I just know that when I use it on one, I have to keep going back in to get my hair dry. When I use it on two, I usually don't have to do that. So the first thing you wanna do is turn this on. And when you do, it's gonna blink. Okay, you see how it says zero? That means it's off. So what you do is you press these buttons, one's minus, one's a plus, and the plus is gone. But you press down, that's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Now you 
will notice if you don't have this on either one of these one or two and you have this on you ain't sucking nothing through this that's 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 what it is nothing's coming through <laughs> It was a plus sign right here but as you can see i may have scratched it off or something but that's the minus sign that's the plus sign that's how to turn it up this is how to turn it down i find that i get the best blow dryers when i have this on two and i have that on two now i probably could make it higher or turn the volume up a little bit but my whole goal is to blow dry my hair and not dry it out i, I don't want to do that so I try to be very gentle with my hair because I know how easy it is for it to come out. This is the next piece. This piece right here actually goes inside the side right here of the dryer. Oops, oops, oops. <laughs> inside the side of the dryer. And this is designed to hold the end of this because it's heavy and this is heavy. And mind you, all of this is sitting on your counter it's designed to hold this here. So you won't have to put it on the floor or maybe drop it. Because once again, this is an investment. You don't wanna drop none of this. So I really like this piece itself. It's one of the most important pieces that came with this dryer for me. The pros about this dryer is that it cuts down on drying time probably about 50 or 60% because you're not having to go in and calm and you know try to get it straight it, the hard part is getting it straight some cons of this particular product is the heaviness of it having to put it together and the cost but i wouldn't say the cost is a con because this is a great investment and it comes with a warranty. So if anything happens, you can always call Red Bear, the manufacturer, and use your warranty. But would I buy this again if anything happened to it? Yes, I would. I definitely would. So that's the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoy this type of content. And if you have some content ideas that you want me to go over, let me know put them down in the comments box below and thank you for joining my part of the youtube universe and much love and light to all of you and keep being exactly who you're supposed to be